Hey yo, what's up you two? It's your boy Lintari here and today we're gonna take a look at Spitfire Labs which is a free VST that was just uh, released by Spitfire Audio. It's rather new and they have very high quality VST instruments that are absolutely free and um, accessible to anyone that has a music software like FL Studio or Ableton or I think even GarageBand should work and in my opinion it's really amazing it contains soft piano strings choir synth pads and all sorts of different instruments and every month they release a new one so if you're poor like me and use free VSTs then this is heaven on earth so you just go on the website spitfireaudio.com slash labs uh, you can just put in spitfire labs on google and on the website you can see all the different instruments that they offer and in order to use those you will need a player but this will all come in time so let's say I like this modular piano I can hear an audio example okay so let's say I like the sound then I will just press get then I will uh, be forced to create an account in order to use the product. So I just click on join labs. I put in all, all my information and I press join labs. Then I will have my account created. Um, you have to remember your password because you will go need later on. And once you've done all that, you press again on get. And just log in then here it tells you it, it's asking you if you already have the player installed and you need this player in order to use the instruments because the instruments are uh, not you need a player to play the sound libraries that you download because the libraries are the instruments and the player is where you use them like your digital piano or something like that so um you you will probably not already have the player installed so you just press no then you say install for windows or mac i have windows so i press windows i already have this installed so i won't do it again but you will press uh, save um, then it will download the execution file once you've downloaded it you execute it you you double click the .x file and then you just do everything it tells you just click ok on everything and this installation should be just fine you would just put it in the folder that's designated and just into the folder that it tells you to if you don't have a lot of space in your computer and your computer is a little bit slow you can put it somewhere where you have a lot of space because this way the instrument won't have lag because it's a large instrument once you've done all that you go back to the browser to the website click next and you can download this thing you click yes this will open up the player that you just downloaded then you will click install into the designated folder um, whichever folder should be fine i already got this so i don't have to do it again and then the, it will start the downloads here you can see all the things that you already have downloaded so those are all the different instrument packs I have electric piano frozen strings and the player right now is just opened in windows not in my sound software so in order to use it i will open up my fl studio and now i just have to do a few little steps more so i can use it what i'm gonna do next is click on more plugins and then manage plugins okay so now we're gonna have to create a path where the plugin was installed right now so in order to do that you um wait a second you you have to find out where you installed it you have to remember the path and um, in my in my case it was installed here where it usually is, it should be in either programs or the other programs folder for you then you go to the Spitfire audio and when you see this thing this is the player so this is the folder that you have to remember 
and now we go in here into manage plugins and click on this little button and this way we will add a new path and we will now put in the path that we just that we just did and click on the folder that we just selected so spitfire audio this is where our player is in then you click ok i already did this so i don't do it again and this is where i have it then you click on find plugins and here you have labs it has four different versions because of vst and uh, 64 and 32 bits so once you're done you just exit and go to more plugins again and now you can choose your plugin now this registered and you choose the one that you need it has vst and vst3 uh, which doesn't really make a whole lot of difference for me so i will use whatever is fine and i will just double click it so that's it um now if you want to have a little more accessible um, you can you can either star it or go into your plugin database generators click on the folder where you want it uh, in i choose synth which is a folder that i created and then you press add to plugin database which will add a screenshot of your plugin to a shortcut of your plugin to whichever folder you just opened in your plugin database so if you press ok then it will add the shortcut i already got this so it won't do it again and now you can just uh, use the player like this you can just drag it in which will speed up your workflow a lot and yeah this is it this is how you how you install and download the player and now you can enjoy the sound and it has some really nice sounds if you ask me it's some really quality uh, sounds really nice plugins So this is the piano, then you have the strings ensemble, ensemble. And you have all sorts of different sounds, which are really good in my opinion. And I mean, they're free, which is amazing. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you uh, enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful to you. If you liked it, leave a like, leave a comment and subscribe. This really helps me grow my channel. And yeah, I hope I could help you. Goodbye.